Good morning, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Lori and I are taking the dogs for a quick walk here. We have a great video coming up for you on the solar system. This is part one. I gave you an overview with the last video. This is part one on the solar array, the panels, and how we put it all together. So stay tuned for more. Stay See tuned. you in a bit. What does Lori say? Stay tuned. Lori says, stay tuned. It's cold. It's cold this morning here in the southwest corner of Idaho. And we are having a great walk. So looking forward to sharing with you this. Stay tuned to the end too. I'm going to go over all the costs. So, so appreciate you being with us here at Lucky Dog Farms. All right, here is what the panels look like after they go up. And of course, there's a huge amount of work in getting these, uh, in, uh, the array into the ground, getting the panels built, figuring out exactly how it should all come together from a wiring perspective. And here's a little look at how the panels arrive to us from Santan Solar in Gilbert, Arizona. What they do is take thousands and thousands of panels from uh, solar farms uh, and then they recycle them and allow us to buy them at much less expensive prices than if we got them new. So this next little section we're going to dive into is the videos that I took as I laid things out and got ready to put everything into the ground. Okay we got our staked out so here's here's the West end, there's the top of the east end where my little headband is. And then there's the, the lower east side and that one. So my next project, next step in the project is to start clearing all this stuff out. This is all old dead sagebrush and stuff like that. So this is where the solar, or the ground mount solar array is gonna go 40 panels and uh, that's the plan. So isn't this is an incredible day. Can you see Bogus Basin with the snow away down there? Um, and it is just a beautiful, beautiful early December day here in Little Southwest Idaho. There's my old panels. Those are going to go up on top of that east end of that, uh, the, the house right there. And so step by step, we're making little progress. This is day two of the solar array layout. So now you know where they are, right? I painted the sticks. There's one, there's the other corner, corner down there, corner there. And now I'm just getting all the old dead sagebrush out of here. So that uh, we'll be ready to put in the, uh, get the precise measurements uh, for all the um, all the foundation piers. We're gonna use uh, three inch uh, piping, galvanized piping and two inch and that. And so this is due south right there through the trees. Of course, we're gonna be at an angle up like that. <laughs> Did you catch that up like that? And uh, so we'll have sun uh, most of the time. Um, it was really important for, for uh, panels to make sure you have no shade on them. Here is the start of the start. So I laid it out. Of course, it has to be due south. And something that was so important was to make sure it was due south and not magnetic south. Most of our phones are magnetic south. Uh, and here is uh, Ginger. She was with me like glue on this whole project uh, until the very end. And uh, I would come back and she'd be in a hole ready to help me out. So she was a huge help because I was doing most of this by myself. So once the holes were done, I put these temporary uh, fencing up so that we could hold up all the two inch piping. And then that laid everything out and got me ready to put the concrete in. And once I did the lower row, row and then I was ready to do uh, the upper row of the piping. 
So here's a little video on how actually that all came together. Okay, here we go. So this is what we've been working on. We have the lower uh, rack base right here that is uh, in. And what I worked on today was getting these stanchions down into the holes here. They hang down and the concrete's gonna go in next. But before I do that, I gotta make sure we're absolutely level the entire way. And I'll just come down here to the end. We're about 55 feet long or so. So this is gonna hold uh, 32 panels. They're gonna go up about 14. Okay, here's a full tour. So I just finished putting these support triangles in here that the engineer wanted me to put in. So I just finished that. I've got the concrete in down here. You can see got the concrete in. And uh, we've got our little pole, our little post level to make sure everything is straight. And I'll hold this up so you can see. It's pretty good. There we go. You can even see, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. You can even see uh, the end down uh, uh, there. Uh, so you can see how straight it is. So that's what we're doing. And we're, we're getting ready now to put the rails on that go across here. Uh, these are all the rails are gonna go across here. All these stakes are coming out uh, tomorrow. And by the way, it's been incredible. Our little place here, uh, southwest corner of, of Idaho is right where all the Canadian geese going out seen right now, but there have been thousands and thousands and thousands. So, okay, here's from the other side, you can see. Um, and of course, uh, we've got the mighty shadow of the cat over there. Mighty shadow hangs out with us. So it's looking pretty good, come a long ways. And uh, tomorrow all the supports come, out, come down because all the concrete will be hardened and we'll be ready to uh, put the rails on. Here's some looks at all the various little components I've put together so you can see how that went up with this two inch pipe. And the engineers had me reinforce it with uh, uh, angles coming down, 90 degree angles coming down on the sides and also on the back and um, also on the front. And here is starting to come together. These are the ribs that are going across both the top and the bottom section. And then after I did the ribs, I had to, yes, 32 times, bring down the panels. And it looked like something like this. <laughs> so, uh, I just kept at it a little bit each day. It's amazing what you can get done. And uh, then I started the very, very first row of panels and Lori came back the next weekend to uh, give me a hand. Are we on? Oh, we're Are we on, live? baby. Yeah, come on down here and uh, show everybody the row number one. So what did you say? More hands make light work? Many hands. Many hands. Add make two more work. hands. Ancient Cherokee saying. Add two more hands and, and look, at, look yeah, we, we got have, sun on the panels. Come on down here a little bit and you can look up that way. Look how cool that yeah. is. So Lori and I have the first row on here. I'm going to get to wash my clothes. <laughs> wash my hair, take a bath, make coffee, do toast. Yeah, I gotta show you our view again. So we can have this view. This view. The view of solitude, peace and quiet, life on the farm. Right, Jerome? Right, Lori. Okay, tomorrow we'll be working on Row, Row two. two. Row two in the morning. Good night. Let's talk about the wiring. How do you know how to put all this together so you have the right amount of watts, the right amount of amps coming into your charge controller uh, and your inverter? Remember, the charge controller is what manages the power from the panels and squeezes all that into your batteries. And then the inverter takes that power out of the batteries uh, and converts that into 120. 
uh, for your home or 240 if you have that as well. So this is a little look right here at how the panels are lined up roughly. And so we have four rows of eight for our system. And this is our, my Soul Arc uh, manual. And so my panels are 355 watts. You multiply that by eight and you've got 2,840 watts per string. So we're gonna parallel the first two strings. So what that means is that the watts uh, uh, stay the same and uh, then the amps will add together. So that means I have 2,840 watts for, for the two sets of panels and the amps have doubled to 18. So I have two sets of those coming in to the house and you'll see in a minute how I brought that wiring up to the house. A great resource is the DIY Solar Forum. Huge help for anybody who is just starting, just beginning. I use them a lot. Great folks, very generous uh, with their time. And remember what we use here is very simple, requires just a tiny bit of algebra, not much, called Ohm's Law, which really tells you that when things are in series, the voltage is added together. When things are in parallel, the amperage is added together. And those little things, that little uh, uh, formula really is the basis of all this and very easy to learn. There's also lots of online calculators that will help you with this process. And you're welcome to reach out to me as well. The next step is a little video on the final steps of pulling this all together. So next step here on the bottom is we have to take all these wires and we need to put each row in series. So negative to positive, negative to positive, all the way up each one of these. And then they'll be paralleled with one row next to it. So I'm gonna have two rows, two, two sets of, of uh, parallel and that'll give us enough power, enough amperage to, uh, to run everything. And you can see I've been working on the wiring too. Uh, there it is. <laughs> have you seen, have you ever seen so many rocks and, and so on out of one tiny little ditch? And uh, so that's my next project is getting the, the power of the wiring into the house. Stay tuned. Here we are finishing up the project, at least this part, the ground array. And I just had some great, beautiful weather. Isn't that a beautiful shot? And uh, it comes, once you have the ground array up, you start putting the panels together uh, on this and getting them all tight and, and secure. You really feel like you're cruising towards the end, which you are, of course. And here's a look at all 32 panels from down below looking up at the house this is right before i put the wraparound porch on which is one of my next videos coming up and i also had to learn a lot about batteries these are the uh, 3.65 volt uh, 272 amp hour batteries and here you see the top balancing that i had to do which you have to do with lithium batteries and i'm going to talk a lot of about that in my next part two video. So here we are just beginning to finish up the wiring. There's the Solark, the hybrid charge controller and inverter. There's all the batteries, all wired in two parallel, 16 in the series. I wanna thank all the generous people at DIY Solar Forum. I learned so much from all of you. You were all so generous with your time and your knowledge and I couldn't have done it with all of you so I'm really dedicating this video to all of you that were so helpful there and if you're going to do a solar project on your own you want to go there and you want to learn a lot and ask a lot of great questions check everything out first here's my costs I may have missed one or two little things but pretty much wrapped up here with that total that you see and I will be having part two pretty soon, focusing on the batteries and the power. Thanks so much for being here.